guys, um, I'm back for book number three. This is the fourth video in my Black Dagger Brotherhood uh, series of videos, I guess, breakdowns. Um, again, if you've missed my other videos, this is for J.R. Ward's Black Dagger Brotherhood series. She is fixing to release a new book that is going to change the world forever. Okay? Um... <laughs> At least that's what I read from it. The uh it's not a spoiler. She did a little thing today that gave a little bit of information about what was going to be in the new book that's coming out this month and I just I don't know what this is going to mean for for my guys. So I'm trying to do um videos for every book. Uh, and this is the fourth video that I'm doing. It's the third book, uh, Lover Awakened. And at the end of the last book, Bella has been captured by the Lessers. And she's being held captive because she looked like one of them's wife or something. I would have to read it again. But uh, in this book, you get a lot more information um, more storylines in one book. When we get further into the, the books, it, it branches off into so many different stories that it's really hard to keep track what happens in each book. But this particular one, it's still not quite that bad yet. Um, you've already met Z, Zadist. He is one of the Black Dagger brothers. He... Uh, was kidnapped as an infant, turned into a blood slave, I think is what they called it, um, and held captive for a long time. Bella is being held captive now by uh, Mr. O, I think. Um, his real name is David, and that comes into play in, in this story. Um, other people that you learn, you meet Fury. He is Zeta's twin. He's Z's twin. And he was the one that was left at home. So, um, Fury and Zetas were born twins. And within months, they were separated. And Z was taken away. Uh, he was stolen away, rather. And um, bad things happened there. We'll learn more about that in another book. But he, uh, Fury's the one that was left at home and he feels responsible in part for Z. And he's just there trying to keep him alive, basically. Um, John Matthews back in this book. Um, you learn a little bit more about them. You get to meet Welsey. Now, you've met her in other books, but you get to spend a little bit more time with her in this book. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, she is Torment's uh, wife. And she is expecting a baby. Yay! But we'll see, um, we'll see in just a minute how Wilsey's uh, plans change quickly. Uh, also in this book, uh, J John Matthew, he is joining a training program for other boys his age. They're going to learn how to be soldiers, wow. soldiers um, in the fight against the lessers because um, it's hard to get into be a Black Dagger brother because you have to have special pedigree, basically. Your your dad has to be a part of the brotherhood, and your mom has to be a chosen, which is a select group of women um, or females that uh, are completely separate from the rest of the groups. So these are kids that don't qualify for the Black Dagger Brotherhood, but that could be good soldiers. So, um, three of the ones that you meet there, uh, John Matthew starts going there. He meets Lash, Quinn, 
and Blay. Now, Quinn, does Quinn have a longer name? I don't remember. We are going to find out. No, Quinn is just Quinn, but uh, Blaylock is the uh, is Blay's real name. And then you also get to meet um, Revenge, the Reverend. I think you've actually met him in some of the other ones, maybe one other book. But uh, this is Bella's brother, and um, he is trying to take care of, trying to find Bella and take care of their mom and, you know, that whole thing. Now, um, in this book, one of the first things that happened, well, not really. Anyway, here's some of the stuff that happens. Uh, they do find Bella relatively quickly. And Z and Bella have met. They met in the previous book um, during a party that Rage had for Mary um, to make her feel more at home, I guess you'd say. They invited Bella over and she met Z. That was interesting. Well, Z's kind of been... She, he, when she went missing, he went kind of a little bit berserk and he's been hunting her. And uh, they do end up finding her, and he basically nurses her back to health. I mean, he, he does everything that he can to help and to do everything. Um, I think in the uh, book before this one, but I know for sure in this one, Torment goes to John Matthew and gives him his memories back of the night that they first met. And asks him, basically, to come live with him. He's like, you know, I know you need a family. You're going to need somebody to help take care of you and teach you our ways and everything like that. And I would like you to come live with me and my wife. And John Matthew um, agrees to go and visit with them and ultimately agrees to go and live with them. So, uh, he ends up getting very upset because... He has never been able to really eat. But Welsey knows exactly what he needs to eat. When he first walks in, this big table is laid out. And it's got like enchiladas and all kinds of good food and stuff on it. And he knows he can't eat it. It'll make him sick. But when he sits down, Welsey brings him white rice with a ginger sauce. And... Tells him, it's okay, you can eat this. I know you can't eat that. It's okay, this is yours. And he, like, you know, he finally fits in. So he, he gets very upset. And it's just really a, a great moment for, like, weeks, I think. For a while, right after he moves in with them, he, uh, John Matthew is, hold on, love. John Matthew is um, upset and he doesn't do anything except for eat and sleep because that's all he he's never been able to do that and now he can with them because they know what he needs and it, it helps him a lot now the training on the other hand does not help him at all um, when he first gets there he meets Lash and Quinn and Blay and Lash is awful. But Blaylock, Blay, kind of befriends him pretty quick. And um, him and Quinn are already friends. They really kind of take him in and they kind of just make a big, big group. And they they stay together all the time. It's really good for uh, all three of them, really, as you go on. Lash is the bully. He is awful. Um, he uh, he does everything he can to make John Matthew feel like a, an idiot and an outcast. But Blay and Quinn do everything they can to make him feel like part of the group. Um, Blay is just your typical, typical guy, whatever. Quinn knows what it's like to feel like the outcast. He has Mitch Matched Eyes. And um, 
that is not uh, looked on well by the Glamira. They don't appreciate flaws. And that is considered a flaw. So he gets treated poorly. Now, Bella gets better. They find her, right? Okay. Well, while she is healing, she goes through something called a kneading. That is the only time that the female vampires can have a baby. Okay? And it is very intense and it is very awful. Well, that it happens, right? So her and Z become a couple. They were kind of already a couple before this, but uh, this kind of seals the deal on them. Then um, she ends up having to leave. Now, I've skipped over something very important in this whole book. We are going to wait just a second before I get into it. Because still, ah, uh, what in the world? Um, but Bella gets better. She leaves. But then Z starts talking to Mary. He goes through counseling. He learns how to write. Um, he learns how to read and write, specifically for Bella, so that he can show that he is good enough for her, basically. That's what he's trying to do. He changes his life and, and does better for her, um, even though something very, very, very tragic happens during this. Okay, when Bella was released, when she was found... They did not find the guy, the lesser, that took her. He was still out there. Well, he found some of the homes. He found some of the, the residents of the vampires. And uh, decided to kind of just check everything out. Well, while he was checking things out, well, C was going around trying to figure out how to do, um, uh, I believe it was a solstice, how to get the solstice together um, to get the old traditions back going. And he found her and he killed her. Now, this is the only mom that John Matthew has ever known. This is Thor's, or T's, we're going to call him T, his wife and his unborn child. And she's gone in an instant. They are at the training center when word gets to them of what happens. The entire brotherhood, you know, this is one of their brothers. They go down there to help, but there's no saving that. When, when he found out that he was right he felt it when he found out that he was right and she was gone he loses his mind there is actually um and it is mentioned in one of the other books at least one of the other books there's still a crack in the wall from where he literally just loses it and he vanishes he disappears nobody knows where he's gone um and it hits John Matthew very, very hard because this is the only family he's ever known. And now he's without them. Of course, the Brotherhood takes him in. He is one of, uh, you know, he's, he's family now. They take him in. Uh, they had just found out, actually, that he was related to Beth. Um, the theory is... And it's more than theory, but this is all you know at this point. The theory is that John Matthew is Darius reincarnated. Um, we know that that's what's happened. But he, John Matthew doesn't know that that's what's going on. And it is uh, causes some trouble for him down the line. He, uh, he has seizures, like when he met his sister for the first time. I don't think they realized that. It was his sister, but when he met Beth for the first time, he started having seizures. Um, certain other things, uh, which book, I'm not sure which book it's in, but they start doing a, 
um, a book about, or they start doing a lesson in the training program about detonators and bombs. And he, I don't know, it puts the puzzle pieces together and he goes into a seizure. It's pretty rough. Uh, this, this happens quite often and it's pretty bad on him. But the biggest thing for me in this particular book, yes, Z, yay, you're getting better. Um, he gets his happily ever with Bella and Nala, which is in the very back of the book, I believe. But he, um, she, she is pregnant by the end of the book and... Uh, goes to tell him that they're that he's going to be a dad and that's when they really get together because he goes in there and writes uh how does it put it in in a child's handwriting i love you for her and that that was really cool um but it shows the bad with the good and all of that it's really good i like lover awakened it it's um gives you deeper meaning to different things but you also uh i'm trying to think you also miss some of the other parts in this one um this one has a very sad undertone to it even though you get laughs you get the love you feel the love through all these books but uh this one takes you down the the sad path i mean you have wellsie's gone and guess what she ain't coming back i mean you know a couple books in i'm like okay she's gonna bring her back right no she doesn't come back i mean you brought darius back with john matthew but but you're not bringing nope she doesn't come back um actually it goes into deeper understanding in other books but uh, this is really where the book series starts going off into other other uh, pathways. And you realize that you're not going to get your happily ever after when you are reading J.R. Ward. These books take you up high roads, take you down low roads. They will play with your emotions and they will squish you but they are great and it's well worth it when you start learning about everybody by the end of this series by where i'm at right now in my reread of these series these books you really need like a tree with all the different branches to remember where you're at um because every chapter is a different story. She could take some of these books and break them down into three or four different books. Because all of this stuff is happening at one time. So on your timeline, they're all going in, in order at the same time. But if you're wanting to read about just one group, like in the first five books, you are reading about one group, two groups most. After that, all bets are off. You are reading about these folks over here and these folks over here. And then you have your main one. These are your main ones. But then you got this one and this one and this one and this one. It's crazy, but it's worth it. So, um, the next book I'm going to do is Lover Revealed. And then, some more. Um, the next book is Lover Revealed. This one is another one that is going to be interesting because... The new book that is coming out in um, just under, no, exactly two weeks from today, um, is going to be the end of the Destroyer Prophecy. And that starts in Lover Revealed. That starts in the fourth book in the series. I don't even know what book we're on at this point in the series, but it, it's going to end 
in the center that's fixing to come out. So, wow. Oh, no. Um, thanks for watching. I'm going to pull up the next one later. I'm going to get as many of these done before the center comes out as I can. If I don't get them all done, they will get done before I post my center video. Um, which is going to be difficult, but I'm going to do it. So, y'all keep reading. Let me know what you're reading. I do like that. I love to know what people read. Um, let me know what you think of uh, all of the different characters and what you want me to look at. I can always use new books, new people to pay attention to, but I don't always have the time. As you know, it gets crazy around here. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Like I said, comments, please. I love hearing books. I love hearing discussions and going through all kinds of stuff, but I don't get a whole lot of opportunity. So help me out. Y'all have a good day. Keep reading and I'll see you next time.